One of the important things that we also have to do is give ourselves permission to mourn. Oftentimes, and I don't want to sort of say all of us, but many of us are at times reluctant to talk about how we are feeling or to publicly mourn the feelings that we are feeling. And for us to begin to process those feelings, for us to begin to uh, really um, have a sense of control over those feelings, not that you'll always have a sense of control every moment of every day, but it's really beginning to mourn that is key. And how do we mourn? There's the ceremonial, the traditional piece of mourning, but there's also the pieces of accepting our new reality. So be it COVID, accepting the new reality of what it's like to live in the world with COVID, or accepting the reality of losing a loved one, or accepting the reality of losing a friend. It's also really important to allow ourselves to experience the process and not fight the process or not to sort of bury the process. You know, oftentimes we think I'm going to put it in this bottle, I'm going to close it tight, I'm going to put it on a shelf and I've dealt with it. But at some point that bottle is going to burst if we don't deal with those feelings and if we don't allow ourselves to experience that loss. And then we begin to adjust to our new reality. We begin to look at how we are going to live in this new life. And then finally, we can begin to look at finding new ways to maintain connection to those around us, to find connection to those that we've lost, or to find connection to the things and the experiences we have lost. So Finding connection to a loved one might be writing a letter to someone who has died, writing a journal entry to someone who has died, but also connecting to that experience we used to love, um, be it celebrating a holiday in a different way, be it celebrating a birthday or another big marker in our lives in a different way. These things are possible. I'm not saying they're going to always be easy, but they are possible once we begin to allow ourselves to experience all of the feelings that come up with grief and with loss. We also have to take a moment to celebrate the good. And I think this is where many of us during COVID um, have become uh, sort of the bearers of bad news. Did you watch the news yesterday? The numbers are up, more deaths, more hospitalizations, vaccine is not uh, uh, easily had. All of these things, we tend to now be purveyors of bad news. And what we have to do is also take a moment and be grateful for the good news. For myself, the good news is that I, for the first time in many years, can have supper with my children. Uh, I'm not going to hockey. I'm not stuck on the subway. Um, it sounds m small. It sounds trite. But these are the things we need to put emphasis on and focus on to get us through this wilderness of grief.